Hello everyone. In this video, we will look at phasor circuit analysis using PySpice. We will see how we can leverage the simulation and computational abilities of Python to do transient simulations and phasor circuit analysis side by side. We will also see how to obtain both time domain outputs as well as phasor diagrams. Recall that a sinusoidal voltage source produces a voltage that varies sinusoidally with time. We can write a sinusoidally varying voltage as shown here, where Vp is the maximum or peak value, T is the time period, F is the frequency, omega is the angular frequency which can be related to both time period and frequency, and theta is the phase angle. In PySpice, the circuit dot sinusoidal voltage source command can be used to generate a sinusoidal voltage. This command accepts the amplitude and frequency as input along with other parameters such as offset voltage, uh, time delay and damping factor. We only need to define the amplitude and frequency and the remaining parameters can be set to zero. Note that the phase angle theta is not available as a parameter in this circuit element. Recall that in circuit analysis, a phaser is a complex number that represents the magnitude and phase of a sinusoid. In introductory circuit analysis textbooks, phases are typically defined with respect to the sinusoid written as a cosine. In power engineering textbooks, phases are defined with respect to the sinusoid written as a sine. Whichever convention is used, we need to be consistent with it. In PySpice, for convenience, we will define the phaser with respect to sine. In phaser circuit analysis, the concept of impedance plays a key role. The impedance of a circuit element is the ratio of the phaser voltage to the phaser current. Impedance is a complex number having units of ohm. Its real part is called resistance and imaginary part is called reactance. The important conceptual point to remember is that impedance is a ratio of two phasor quantities, but it is not a phasor itself. Thus, while voltage and current phases can be converted back to time domain, impedance of a circuit element only exists in the phasor domain. For a resistor, capacitor and inductor, the impedance can be calculated using well-known relationships shown here. Why is phasor circuit analysis technique so popular? If we solve a circuit with sinusoidal inputs in the time domain, we have to solve a differential equation which is not easy to do. If we use phasor circuit analysis technique, we transform the circuit to the phasor domain where we only have to solve algebraic equations. Using this technique, we can obtain the steady state solution directly, avoiding having to solve differential equations. This technique can be applied to linear circuits. All independent sources must be sinusoidal having the same frequency. The main steps in applying the phasor circuit analysis technique are shown here. Please pause the video now if you wish to study these in more detail. Let us consider a simple RC circuit as the first example. The input signal here has an amplitude of 1 and a frequency of 1 kHz. The goal here is to predict the steady state output voltage. It is easy to simulate this circuit in PySpice. 
we define the amplitude and frequency of the input sinusoidal voltage. Using descriptive node labeling, we translate the circuit diagram into a netlist as shown here. It is well known that for an RC circuit, the steady state response is reached after approximately five time constants. We can use this fact to define the final time for the transient simulation. The simulator.transient command simulates the circuit and gives us the total response. We can leverage the computation power in Python to do theoretical phasor circuit analysis side by side with simulation. In order to do that, we redraw the given circuit in the phasor domain in its most general form. We replace the resistor and capacitor with impedances, but do not yet calculate specific value. This symbol is showing the sine voltage source in phasor domain with reference polarity to help with writing circuit equations. This general circuit can be analyzed using any circuit analysis technique. Here we are using node voltage method to write the circuit equation. We can solve this circuit equation by hand or by using Mathematica. This general solution can now be programmed into Python. This is the code to simulate the RC circuit and carry out phasor calculations for comparison. The code is available in the video description as well as the comments section. We have standard declarations at the top. The circuit netlist and the transient simulation which was discussed previously is here. This is the theoretical phasor circuit analysis part. We extract the time vector from the simulations. We define the input phasor and the impedances. We calculate the output phasor voltage and then transform it back to the time domain. The plotting commands are here. We are plotting the time domain voltages. When we run this code, we obtain the plots. In this case, uh, the transient duration ends at about 8 milliseconds. This plot is showing the input, output and the theory. And this second plot is zooming in on the output voltages. We can see that the theory, which is the orange curve, matches the simulation, which is the blue curve, after about five time constants. This code is general and works for any uh, component values. For instance, we can change the value of the capacitor and we can change the value of the input frequency and re-simulate. We can see that again uh, the phasor circuit prediction matches the simulated output waveform after the steady state is reached. Next, we consider an RLC circuit as shown here. The input signal has an amplitude and frequency as shown here. The goal in this example is to predict the steady state output voltage as well as the steady state currents as indicated here. For an RLC circuit, it is also possible to predict when the circuit reaches steady state However, the maths is a bit complicated, so we do not consider it here. 
Similar to before, we redraw the circuit in the phasor domain in its most general form. We do not yet calculate specific values of the impedances. We use node voltage method to write the circuit equation. We use Mathematica to solve the circuit equation and obtain the general expression for the output voltage. Once V out phasor is found, we can then solve for the given currents of interest by applying Ohm's law to the impedances. Finally, this general solution can be easily programmed into Python as shown here. Please pause the video now if you wish to study this in more detail. This is the Python code to simulate the RLC circuit. We have the standard declarations at the top, the circuit netlist part, and the transient simulation. We program the theoretical phasor circuit analysis. When we run this code, we can see the voltages and the currents in the circuit. The theory prediction for the output voltage in green uh, matches the simulated output voltage in orange uh, once the steady state is reached. We can also plot the phasor uh, diagrams. We can see that in this case, uh, the output voltage in red lags the input voltage. Also, for the currents, the current through the capacitor and inductor lead the input voltage, while IR lags the input voltage. The voltage and current phasor diagrams are plotted separately for clarity as they have different magnitudes. Summarizing, we have discussed two examples which illustrate how to do transient simulation and phasor circuit analysis computations side by side in Python. Thank you for watching the video and supporting this channel.